Peace and greetings, peace and greetings, Brother Divine here of a Culture Shock LLC, uh, Life as an Entrepreneur. Uh, this is actually day 12, and this is actually like a pivotal moment for me. You know, uh, sit down Sunday, we have the sister guidance, sister Cha Cha here, you know what I'm saying, sister Charlotte. Greetings. Uh, Fusion Cuisine or whatnot. So um, we're just going to go ahead and go to the uh, interview or whatnot. So go ahead and introduce yourself and your business or whatnot to the people. <clears throat> My name is Charlene Francois. I am the owner of Fusion Cuisine, LLC. Uh, we are a more holistic and eclectic way of bringing you international cuisine, um, a good fusion of it. Um, we have been open for, well, here in Huntsville for about four or five years, but I started uh, probably about three years before that okay. in Georgia. True indeed, true indeed. So, um, actually, how long have you been working for yourself? I've been working for myself since probably 2015. Okay, okay. So that's like that's, that's a good good while. Okay. So you have a lot of experience on your belt uh, or whatnot as far as business and working for self. Um, <clears throat> what inspired you to actually create this business, Fusion Cuisine? Well, I was working in a, a warehouse and just seeing the conditions in there and everything and going through different things with that job, it made me realize I didn't want to work for anyone else at the time. And I love cooking. It is an art and I'm artistic and creative. So I wanted to change a couple of things and I started incorporating that while I was working at that warehouse. And then I decided from there, from seeing the conditions and everything like that, I would prefer to work for myself than to slay. Join the financial I freedom. slay for myself. Ownership, this is what we be talking about in this whole vlog or whatnot, life as an entrepreneur. So um, just gratitude for coming on for the, uh, the show or whatnot. Um, Thank you. Yeah, um, so what goals do you want to achieve with your, uh, your brand Fusion Cuisine? <laughs> No, I just wanna, I just wanna, well, help the community mainly. I want to educate them on different herbs because we incorporate different herbs in every beverage, every meal that we create. We put different herbs to assist with different elements of the body. So it's like I wanna educate people about holistic ways of eating and incorporating that in your diet you know, to where it assists you mentally, physically, and in every aspect. True indeed, true indeed. So, um, in these years that you've been working for self, um, explain, like, you know, experiences you might have had, like, as far as, like, uh, business highs and business lows, because, you know, I tell, you know, entrepreneurs that, you know, it's a wave, it's like highs and lows, so give some experience. Highs and lows, I mean, there's certain times of the year where I'll have a lot more business um, where, you know, uh, excuse me, where I'll have a lot more business to where I'll have a lot more events, you know, a lot more customers. It might be the beginning of the summer, and then as we start going into fall and winter, it might slow down a little bit, but sometimes it can because people, you know, want delivery, and Fusion Cuisine does deliver. Um, but, uh, in the summertime, it might be more highs or what have you with different events, but then coming towards winter, there's a lot of lows and it's like, okay, what do you do now? Okay. All right, so um, question. Have you ever like experienced like a failure or something that you might have thought was a failure? And if you have, what did you learn from that experience? <clears throat> yes. Um, there was an event that I had, it was a wedding, and I was, uh, everything was planned out. <clears throat> and this particular couple or client decided to go ahead and purchase the food. They thought it would be better that they purchased the food. I'm telling them ingredients, but I know it would have been best if I went out and did the shopping or what have you, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, and purchased the food. Well, a good majority of the food they brought like maybe two days before, let's say like uh, the dry food, the seasonings and things of that nature. But I was stuffing chicken breast. 
Oh my god. I was stuffing chicken breasts for 80 people. So, you know, I'm going to do it for about 100. Ooh. They didn't bring it, and you know, the way that I am, I want to. I want to go ahead and marinate the meat and everything and have it marinated probably like two days before good so I can go ahead and have it out fresh and everything. They didn't bring me the meat until the day before. Actually, the evening before the wedding. And the wedding was said to be probably, I want to say around, let's say four. I got these chicken breasts the night before and they were... About that big. <laughs> About that big out. And so I'm doing at least a hundred of them. And they're so big I can slit them at least four ways or what have you. I mean, I was so stressed going in my kitchen and I only have one uh, oven. I don't work at a commercial kitchen right now, which, which I've found a couple of since. But um, yes, so I was working from this oven and I'm having help and you know, the people, my helpers are I'm working the hell out of them and they're working the hell out of me too and I'm so stressed and throughout it all I got it done what did you learn what did I learn from that I learned that I have to put uh, well I need to be more organized and I needed to have certain boundaries that I need to put out for those people, and I needed uh, uh, what is it? I needed to basically let them know, or I need to learn to let my clients know certain things are already in place. You know um, that I can't adjust a contract a certain way. You understand? A certain way, a little bit exactly. more. Exactly, I needed to be a lot, a lot more assertive <laughs> with this couple. You know, Most definitely. Especially with them bringing me something like you know meat the night before for me to have done for at least 80 to 100 people. And then at the end, for only about 35 to 40 people to actually show up. Wow. And I have to take all the, what am I gonna do with all this food? <laughs> and nobody, what am I gonna do with all this food? I'm you can take right. what you know, you can take it with you. Where am I gonna put all this food? Yeah. So, yeah, that's, a, that's life game right there. Like for real, for real. Uh, I'm gonna start getting more emotional about it. I, I feel you. I feel you. That's why we gonna move on. We gonna move on. Cause I, I look, but I mean that's 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 business. That's entrepreneurship. Like I say, these are the lows. You have highs. You're gonna deal. And I just did a vlog. I want to say what um, day eleven. I was talking about your D customers. What did I say? Do you do to the D customers? You you delete D delete. customers. You delete. D customers, yeah. these are the customers that frustrate you, just like how Sister Cha Cha, Sister Charlotte was frustrated in this event. You know, they put her on a time strain or whatnot. She's trying to do professional work. You know what? I want to say that they wanted, they expected so much for something that they weren't even willing to pay for. These are deep customers. You do not you do, listen. Do not pander for a dollar. You want to, you know, you want to cater to your um, your A list customers, your A customers, your B customers. You want to raise them up to A customers. But the D customers, like I say, it's a polite way to just, you know, direct them to somebody else or just don't do uh, business with them. You know, exactly. And it just will save you a headache in the future. So, you know. All right. So, question. Um, as far as like your business and you know, as far as uh, being a chef, uh, you know, doing fine cuisine, did you learn as far as like going to like a chef school or is everything like self-taught? Did I go to a chef school? Yeah. No, it was self-taught. Um, I did a lot of cooking, watching my father cook. Okay. So my dad used to be in the military, in the Marine Corps, and in the Army, and he cooked for, you know, like different platoons and things of that nature. So going to all those different countries, he would always cook different cuisine at home. Okay. So he would teach me. Some of us would learn in the kitchen, and some of us didn't. And I took a liking to cooking in the kitchen with him and doing things of that nature. So your father was your mentor as far as like the cooking? Yes, yes, yes. True indeed, true indeed. So question, 
if you could go back in time, what would you tell the old Charlotte? About what? As far as business. This is all strictly business. Oh, okay. Like, as soon as, like, when, when Charlotte made the decision to create Fusion Cuisine, at that fusion point, Fusion, fusion cuisine. cuisine. It's the alcohol. We've been drinking real good, y'all. Real good. But, um, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, what, would, what would you tell that Charlotte where you're at now? As far as like the brand that you have built, what would you tell that child? To stay focused. To stay focused. Not to let um, anything break your focus. You know, um, it's natural that we all get off a of track, but uh, just to stay focused. Okay, okay, okay. So, let me see. Should I have said more? No, no, no. I mean, like I said, we vibing and that's what you feel. You know, we, we speak it from the spirit. We're speaking from the soul. So that's why I want yes, everybody focused. to know. Yes, Just focus. Focused. Tunnel vision, guys. It'll take that's you a Put them blockers on. Yeah. Blockers, my people. You yes. need blockers. Focus on your star focus. player. Yes, yes. So what would you tell somebody... Uh, you know, that's asking you about what will make a good entrepreneur as far as like in your eyes. What what's the the prototype or just something that a good entrepreneur needs to have as far as like uh, to prosper in business? Motivation. Be around positive people and motivation and have people that inspire you. Positivity. Try to be around good energy. Um, like we spoke about earlier, there are ups and downs or what have you. And people that normally have their own businesses, they are creative. And like we were discussing earlier as well, creativity, it flows just differently. You can't force that. You know what I'm saying? can't force it. True indeed, true indeed. So also uh I want y'all to I want you to tell everybody how how many hours do you work a day as an entrepreneur working for sale, strictly for sale? How many hours do you work a day? Well it depends. On, on because that. I can set my own hours. Okay, but on a on a on a busy, busy day like Charlotte is like really On a busy day if I'm doing um an event. Okay, let's say whether it is I'm doing an event for a large crowd or whether it is I'm doing an event for some a couple or having that could go a whole day. Okay. You can go at least eight hours. Like an eight hour shift. Okay, okay, okay. So I got a couple hypothetical questions I wanna ask real quick. Um, would you rather have five average workers or one above average worker? Like superior worker. The superior. Just one instead of the five. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Somebody that's passionate, just as I. I dig that passion. You gotta have that fire in entrepreneurship. So yeah, I I'm kind of like the same. I rather have a good solid one worker instead of the five trash workers. Exactly, because I'm gonna be on top of them doing their jobs. Yeah, and it's gonna make it real frustrating for you. So yeah, I dig it. Another hypothetical question for you. With all these hypotheticals. Yeah, because I just be wanting to see where everybody's mind frame is, you feel me, as far as like their, yes, their perspective okay. on life. So let's say you had let's say you had just fifty thousand dollars of just free money right now. What would you invest in? I would probably look into getting a food truck or a space. Okay. Yeah. Um priority wise, which one you, you think you would you would want first? Would you want the food truck or would you, would you want to go ahead and get brick and mortar? I think I would want brick and mortar because I have more going on besides just fusion cuisine. You know what I mean? Um, like I said, we are an eclectic blend of international cuisine. Have you? And I told you that everything we do incorporates different herbs. 
to assist with different elements of the body. I also do teas as well. So I would like to have, you know, a, a large range of loose teas okay. in a brick and mortar and, you know, um, different things that will assist you uh, mentally, physically, you know, okay. Okay. basically okay. wellness. Okay. So um, please tell the viewers or whatnot where we can find you as far as like, you know, um, maybe somebody might have an event that they need a caterer for or whatnot. Where can we find you and get in contact with you? Well, you right you? now you can contact Fusion Cuisine LLC at 256-813-4169. Again, that is 256-813-4169. Or you can find us on Facebook, Fusion Cuisine. I don't know, you know, the all slashes and all that but yeah fusion cuisine and our ig is fusion cuisine as well okay do you have any like uh any upcoming announcements you might want to announce coming up in the future um yeah. i believe that we are going to do some more intimate um settings as far as ciphers going and we'll have more tastings with that going on you know what i'm saying so i'm um, not only will i be doing that from here where you're sitting right now but i'm also looking at a couple of different locations where we can have you know maybe at a larger scale go ahead be able to have a taste of some sort okay most definitely uh uh let's make sure we have the vlog there you know the uh the experience they catch the whole vibe of that or whatnot but mm -hmm. really appreciate you for uh Thank being you. the first mm -hmm. interviewee i'm you know, the first y'all the very first like this is dope, did an awesome job. Um, showed out as far as the food or whatnot. I'm tipsy as I don't know what, full. And yeah, so I can't complain, you know. Uh, anything else you wanna say? I'm um, asking no, no, I guess not. Oh, we didn't discuss what was cooked. Well, um, in the footage or whatnot, I'm, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna edit it and everything. and. Uh, I don't, we'll have all that. Don't worry about that. That's what I got the pictures for. All those pictures that you took. Yeah. Put all that well, inside. yeah, as of right now, no. Other than be, stay tuned. The more to come with Fusion Cuisine as far as ciphers going, as far as crafts go, and just we're well rounded. We are eclectic and we are creative. So, peace from Brother Divine uh, of a Culture Shock LLC. Life as an entrepreneur, day 12, sit down Sunday. It's a wrap. Peace to the family.